Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for Sunday morning's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, available at wreg.com slash weather. If you'd like to keep up to date with what's going on with the weather forecast, this is our online effort to keep you updated as to what's going on. Again, fairly chilly in the Mid-South right now, not too much in the way of winds. Fortunately, high temperatures today may be in the lower 50s with increasing clouds. And a little bit on the chilly side for tonight, your forecast again in the bottom bar here. Don't forget our website, wreg.com slash weather for more information on the forecast. Rest of the next few hours, plenty of sunshine out there. Looks like again for today we'll be seeing winds out of the east-northeast at about 10 miles per hour. So that's going to make things a little bit breezy, which means some of these temperatures, if the winds continue through early this afternoon, might be in the lower 30s in the wind chill category. So we could be seeing some fairly cool numbers out across much of the Mid-South. So outdoors, jacket or coat, especially through late this morning, church, Sunday school, wherever you may be happening to go, that's where we may see again some fairly cool numbers across much of the area for today. Currently seeing again a very chilly day in Memphis yesterday. We should be at this time of the year. A normal high temperature is about 63 degrees and yesterday the high temperature in and around Memphis was only about 45 degrees. So very much on the cool side for us for the Memphis metro area back into the lower 30s for low temperatures. We should be in the lower 40s for this time of the year. A record low of 18, which hasn't been broken since 1998, and 2006 was our last record high. That was 84 degrees in the early portion of March. We'll be looking at some cooler numbers over the next couple of days. We'll take a look at the 7 to 10 day forecast in just a little bit. Precipitation officially yesterday, 9 hundredths of an inch. That's granted not all that much, but that is what we wound up with uh, for yesterday. We are head for the month now by about seven tenths of an inch. That's good news. We're still behind for the year by about maybe two inches, just a little bit over on that. So we could definitely use some more in the way of rainfall. Probably not going to be happening anytime soon for today, but tomorrow some more rainfall heading our direction. And we'll talk more about that coming up a little bit later on. Sunrise this morning about an hour later. If you haven't adjusted your clocks yet, remember daylight saving time kicked into gear last night. So it should be, again, 7.36 on your clock if you're tuning in right now on Periscope, Twitter, Google+, Plus, or YouTube, not 6.36. So remember to change your clocks forward one hour. And also don't forget about making certain you change your smoke alarm batteries as well. That's always a good idea. Looks like we're having some loss of data with the uh, current forecast information. If the numbers were showing up on here... This is what happens with live podcasts at this point in time. Uh, we should see temperatures in the high 40s to lower 50s for later on today and mostly clear skies. Apologies for that loss of data. See what's going on with the forecast again through the rest of the day today. Just a few clouds this morning. Those are moving off away down toward the south and to the east and will be heading away from us throughout the rest of the day. Mostly sunny, dry, and pretty cool for today. High temperatures mainly back in the mid to upper 40s, although again, as you can see on the forecast display here, we might hit the lower or 50s in parts of the Mid-South. Tomorrow, especially into tomorrow morning, heading to work or if you have school outside of spring break going on this week, you may see some showers, so a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going would not be such a bad idea so that you're not in so much of a rush because rushing through on days when there's rain and less friction on the roadways and low visibility, that's a recipe for disaster. So definitely want to think about slowing it down out there as we see more chances of showers in the Mid-South. Partly to mostly cloudy skies, also a little bit cooler. Notice the temperatures as we get into around the early portion of Tuesday. We'll be back only into the mid to upper 40s. That's Canada sending us a lot of colder air heading down our direction, and that's going to do a very good job of keeping us a little bit cooler for the Mid-South. That goes right on into about Wednesday or so, as numbers are only going to be back in the mid-40s for highs, upper 20s for lows, so some chilly conditions coming our way for the early portion of this next week. What we're going to be seeing into the rest of the forecast, excuse me a second, some minor technical difficulties here. Okay, hopefully that'll stay exactly where it is if I don't knock that around too much. St. Patrick's Day, maybe some scattered showers by Friday evening and quite possibly some thunderstorms as we get into next Saturday or so and temperatures right about where they should be back in the lower 60s. Rest of the forecast through the last weekend of winter. Springtime officially starts next Monday early in the morning, so temperatures should be right spot on for this time of the year. Just incredible numbers back in the lower 70s 
for highs and chances of rain some sporadic possibilities by about next Tuesday temperatures going back into around the mid to upper 60s with a 25 percent chance of some showers and thunderstorms out there and that should be about it let's take a trip overseas if you have friends loved ones or relatives serving in the United States military temperatures across Iraq back in the 70s and 80s not doing too bad you can get some pretty nasty sandstorms and fairly low visibility at this time of the year but nothing like that showing up at this point back into the Persian Gulf temperatures around 90 in Riyadh Saudi Arabia lower 80s around the Persian Gulf from Kuwait down to Bahrain and around the Doha area into Afghanistan temperatures in the 30s around Faizabad 50s around Herat and Kabul and 64 degrees around Kandahar fairly mild no major winter storms in progress in this location Korean Peninsula 40s and 50s a little bit of rain around the DMZ close to Chunchan but otherwise partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the rest of the Korean Peninsula south of the DMZ and back toward Guantanamo Bay in Cuba temperature of 72 high so far today of 74 with mostly cloudy skies into around portions of the Caribbean social media center thanks to our own produced by Gates our own Michael Gates back producer and and audio operator extraordinaire for a great view of the car his car last night wondering who's got the ice scraper I couldn't find mine but fortunately it wasn't really necessary for last night Memphis underscore Tom the quote-unquote massive and believe me I hate making the air quotes as much as anybody else snow totals from last night we did get some snow in the Mid-South area it wasn't all that much but definitely enough to remind us that it is still winter time in the Mid-South area and Ripple 1026 Dyersburg snowfall in and around the area of North West Tennessee into around close to Dyer County last night. A lot more snow north of Memphis and I 40 than there was around or south of I 40 last night, so we did manage to pick up at least a little bit of some snowfall into portions of the Mid South last night. Wasn't a lot, but at least we did get a reminder that we still do have some winter out there. If you've got winter pictures from the Mid South area, please send them along again at twitter.com slash aonic underscore WREG3, and we'd love to feature them on News Channel 3 social media, but we can't feature feature them if you don't send them so please send them along to us and that'll help us to pass it along to everybody else also don't forget about our app the news channel 3 weather app if you'd like to get that all you have to do is go to your particular app store and search WREG weather to get more information about keeping track of weather in the Mid-South with our exclusive and brand new and improved weather app in the Mid-South. Also, don't forget about my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. That's on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network and also will be on AM 730 tomorrow morning. And please, again, if you got pictures, we'd love to know more about them. Please send them along to us. If you can, again, the social media network's there on your screen. As soon as I find out how to get it on Game Boy, I will let you know, but so far, no luck on on that and I'm still working on Snapchat so hopefully you get that taken care of as well. Stay tuned for more information throughout the rest of the day and into tonight we'll be on at 5.30 on News Channel 3 anytime. The selection show for the NCAA men's basketball tournament will be tonight at 5.30 as the tournament begins. Uh, we'll have more information again with that with News Channel 3's Mike Sadie and of course I'll have more on your forecast coming up tomorrow morning. Tim Simpson will be in tonight as Todd Demers is taking vacation next next week so I will be off tonight and into the area throughout the rest of this next week so more coming up with News Channel 3 in the morning with yours truly over the next several days questions concerns comments please email me at austin.onic at wreg.com and again don't forget about our website here at wreg.com slash weather for the latest forecast live and direct from downtown Memphis I'm meteorologist Austin Onic thanks for joining us for the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog weather overtime stay tuned to News Channel 3 for more information from the News Channel 3 Weather Center on air and online.